Hi, this is Scott from GolfGeek.net, and here I am in blustery Massachusetts. It's about 40 degrees out, pretty breezy. Um, but I'm trying to get another round in for the snow falls. I am testing uh, today the Garmin Approach S1 GPS watch. Here it is here. And I'm walking down the first fairway after my tee shot. And you can see it tracking distance to the green. So that's today's project and I will uh, jump back in with some updates as I get through this cold round. Okay, I uh, just teed off on the fourth hole to par five, long one. Uh, it's a, kind of a layup drive. Can hit through the fairway into some mess on this one. You can see it up there. But we're trying out the Garmin S1 approach watch and I have to say after three holes so far I absolutely love it. Um, now I just birdied holes two and three. Try not to let that uh, affect my feelings about this device, but it certainly did help me pick the um, approach club for this on the second hole. As I was out 144 yards or so, and actually because it's winter here, they pulled all the yard markers from the sides of the fairways, so I it's actually tough to actually know the distances. So it's really great to have this right now. Um, the a couple of the features this watch has, though. Besides being able to see your distance to the green, uh, which I will, which I'll show in a bit, is that it has an odometer on it, so you can see how far you're walking, and it has a measure shot feature, which I just used. So what you do is you pick measure shot when you're from the spot where you took your shot, and like I said, I hit a three three wood off the tee. And here's, I'm walking and here's, it's measuring it for me. I'm kind of pacing it off. And here we are, settling in at 216. It was not crushed, but as you can see on this fairway, you don't want to crush the drive. Okay, more in a bit. Okay, here we are coming up to the Second shot on this par five. I didn't show the yardage from the first shot. It was 330 some odd yards. And now, here we are, an approach shot. 156 to the back, 142 to the center, 120 to the front. Pin is in the center. And uh, just to round out this hole, here's my third shot. Came up a little bit short. But it was certainly nice to know that yardage. Okay, here I am uh, walking up the ninth fairway to finish up my round. Um, nine holes with the Garmin Approach S1. GPS watch. I have to say it's it was uh, really great to have. I think I used it at least once per hole. Even the par threes get a nice read from the tee, and um, really convenient to have. The you know the downside is that you you gotta like to wear a watch, which I do when I golf anyway, so that's no big deal. Um, the upside is it's always attached to you and it's always there. The thing with handheld devices, I've used the iPhone. Um, GPS apps a lot and a few and handhelds a few times and you know they're in your pocket you leave them in the cart if you're riding potentially lose them um, this has been this has just been really great I was talking to the pro about this uh, before starting to show it to him and he noted that you had you have to know the distance off the tee which is true, which is, uh, I commented, which is probably why they call it the Garmin Approach. 
because it's pretty much only good for approach shots. But uh, if you know the course at all, or have a book, um, it's, it's all I need. So I give, this, uh, I give this a big thumbs up. I'd say it's a keeper. Maybe I'll add it to my Christmas list. One last look of the watch in action. Heading, walking up to the ball. Here we are. 100 and Hundred and five out. It's in the back. Hundred and nineteen.